teachers are contemplating escalating to two-day strikes to ramp up the pressure on the government, after Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern criticized them for striking too early. Almost 30,000 primary and intermediate school teachers and principals are striking around NZ for the first time in 24 years today, closing 1,479 schools. That is three quarters of state primary schools. Dozens of rallies aimed to gain attention for better pay, conditions and incentives to attract new teachers. The number of teachers rallying included 10,000 in Auckland. 5,000 in Wellington and 3,000 teachers in Christchurch. The rest were spread out across the country, speaking from the rally gathering in Fort Street, Auckland, Primary Teachers Union's I President Linda Stewart said they continue to negotiate in good faith. We never left the table. This is significant, this is around children's needs in education. Stewart addressed thousands in Ota Square mooting the idea of further strikes escalating to two days in length. Cheers and stamping rang out, in contrast to the other option of continuing one-day strikes, which received a muted response. Stewart said the questions were a straw poll to gauge the appetite for rolling regional strikes, or two-day strikes. The very clear preference among members was for a two-day strike but we don't want to go into that space, Stewart said. We know we're moving into negotiations again and we go into that in good faith. Stewart said there would be a debriefing period before any decision was made on holding a ballot on whether to strike again. Both parties need to be prepared to shift somewhat in those spaces to get a positive outcome, but what I'm hearing from our membership is that we're really resolute, Stewart said. It's unfortunate that it's a government that is highly aligned with the policies we agree with but you go into government to fix the crises that we have. I'm sure that they are listening. Any further industrial action would require another ballot of union members.